in the next few seconds. I'll run through the Kidderminster side. Now Christian dibbling goal, of course we knew him at Wrexham for many years. Back four we think left to right, Caleb Richards, Matt Preston, Alex Penny and Reese McNally. And then Shane Byrne and Zach Brown, you're holding midfielders with Jack Lambert, a little bit more advanced centrally. And Ashley Hemmings is definitely one to watch on the right-hand side. Sam Bellis coming in on loan from Stoke um, as a forward. And then Amari Morgan-Smith down the middle. And we've called that right. It is Ashley Hemmings on the right, Amari Morgan-Smith down the middle. And Sam Bellis kicking off life at Agbra in the uh, left-sided attacking position as... Uh, Frost cuts out a forward ball, but then Lambert nicks it and does really, really well, actually. And starting to score goals and pick up the points they'll need if they're going to survive this season. Their first back at National League level. Here's a free kick taken forward. Morgan Smith wins the header inside. First to react is number 11, Lambert. He spins one way, then the other. Goes back to Hemmings. Certainly a lively start from the home side. Ball into the area is cut out. Brown feeds... Lambert, Lambert trying to get it back onto his left foot, he does, gets a cross in, headed back inside, and the first bit of action for young Jasper Shake comes off his line, catches it cleanly, and he'll feel a whole lot better about that by the debutant Sam Bellis, does recover well, feeds it forward, Barham chests it, Stokes volleys it out to the right-hand side, or left-hand side, Ollie Scott battles away, wins the ball fairly, prods it into Tolad, who's not on, oh, he's not offside, squares it in, Stokes, goal! 1-0 to the shots, they're back at it again here at Agbra in just the sixth minute and finally paired together again, Tolhage and Stokes team up beautifully, Barham is well involved in the move and the shots are ahead in the sixth minute, Harry is nil, Aldershot Town one. And I think... There's no doubt whatsoever that Amari Morgan-Smith has started in the mood today. Here he comes off his man and wins it again easily. It's a clear ploy for Kidderminster. He just drops off of the centre-backs and wins it and feeds the others. One of those he feeds is Hemmings, but Hemmings has been outwitted by Theo Widrington. Stokes gets the ball, comes inside, tries a little ball to Tolage. Tolage holding off his man, tries to skip inside. He's into the penalty area, goes down. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is! They just couldn't deal with the trickery and the pace of Lauren Tolage. And he's been pulled down in the 24th minute. And Aldershot Town have an opportunity to double their lead here at Agbra. And then was eventually pulled down. Referee kept up with play, gave the spot kick. Kean Harris steps up and sends the keeper the wrong way. Calm as you like. Keeper dives to his right. Harris goes to his left and scores his fifth goal of the season, and all of them from the penalty spot. And here, in the 25th minute, is a scoreline that will delight Shots fans listening far and wide. Kidderminster Harry is nil, Aldershot Town two. At the moment, today, Shots are outwitting Kidderminster. Thank you very much indeed. So, uh, Gateshead down to 10 at Dorking, it's still nil-nil there. There has been another goal in the National League. Boreham Wood have dared to take the lead against Bromley. Here's Harry's trying to hold position, but more. Oh, oh, a really soft, really soft penalty been given to Kidderminster here. So Harry's was holding off one man. The ball bounced in front of him, and it didn't bounce too kindly. Morgan Smith nipped in. Okay, Ashley Hemmings with a chance to get Kidderminster back into this game. They're two 0 down. We're on the half hour mark. Hemmings steps up and sends Jasper Shake the wrong way. Kidderminster Harriers have scored their first goal under Phil Brown. And it is. Kidderminster Harriers 1, Aldershot Town 2. Ball played up towards him again. Turns sharply, plays it inside. And uh, Max Mullins is on to that one. Plays the ball up to Tolledge. Tries a little turn that doesn't come off. Zach Brown's picked up the loose ball. And uh, he's got Lambert outside of him on the left-hand side. He's towards the edge of the penalty. He tries to get in. Oh, what a tackle. Maxwell Mullins, take a bow. Goes to ground, wins the ball and finds Glover going forward. Glover, in fact, can't quite get there. And Kidderminster will come again down the left-hand side. Tolledge is back there working. But uh, Richards has got away. He's pulled it back. He's missed by a couple of people. Comes to Hemmings. Hemmings shoots. Hemmings scores. And Kidderminster are level in the 38th minute. It's a double for Ashley Hemmings. Aldershot so nearly cleared their lines. 
but Harriers respond and after having a two goal lead in the first 25 minutes it's now been wiped out hit him it's the Harriers two all the shot down two he goes back to Penny in the 48th minute already still 2-2 here at Agbra and now Penny sends it in long to the far post looking for Morgan Smith who gets up gets his head on the ball and beats the outstretched dive of Jasper Shake and somehow or other that one has got in just a ball aimed up to Morgan Smith we've talked about how good he's been today and now he's got a goal to put the icing on the cake He's been superb in all his hold-up play. But there's no way that header should have been going in, Alf. No, it was, it was a hopeful ball from down here on the left-hand side of the Kidderminster left flank. And uh, you've got to say he, headed, he, he timed his jump well and he headed it into the far corner. I don't think you could blame uh, Jasper Shake, Shake for that. That tells you that they're just not got the cohesion today here's Lambert being fed on the left side he'll do well to keep it in down by the corner flag he does beat his man he runs along the the byline sends it in oh it's only half cleared by Shake thankfully to Widrington who clears it behind for a corner still 1-0 to Dorking then at Meadowbank and here we're back underway with a bit of 50-50 in the middle of the park and uh, Kidderminster building nicely out it goes to the right hand side Morgan Smith's got the overlap in run from, uh, oh, great tackle there from Ollie Scott, but I can only send it to a Kidderminster player. One twos. And a Kidderminster player trying to make a secondary run into the box. I think it's McNally has been checked, I think, by Harry's. Penalty's been given. And Kidderminster are going to have the third spot kick of the afternoon. And Aldershot Town's hopes of anything at Agbra today are hanging in the balance. Get this penalty covered now. Ashley Hemmings stands 12 yards away from a hat-trick against Aldershot Town. And to put Kidderminster 4-2 up here. Up he steps, left-footed. And it's saved by Jasper Shake. And Aldershot Town get out of jail for now at least. Well done to the youngster. Cracking save. Aldershot looking to counter with Tyler Frost here. He's being tugged, but he gets the ball out to Barham. Barham skips in on his right foot. Underweighted pass. It's been picked up by Ashley Hemmings. He's running straight towards goal. He's going to shoot now. It's a good save, but it's followed up by Amari Morgan-Smith. And Kidderminster do lead by four goals to two with 13 minutes left. And Hemmings still can't get his hat-trick, but he won't care because his strike partner, Amari Morgan-Smith, followed up what was a decent save from Shake, And uh, it was Golda Mateo, I beg your pardon, following up. And he has scored against Tommy Widrington in the 77th minute. Could him into the Harriers, four. All the shot down, two. Without those two goals, it might have been a different story. So, to be honest, yes, Hemmings has been the best player on the pitch. Here is uh, Kinnaminster coming forward with McNally, finds Hemmings, another cross comes in, a little bit of a deflection on it. And a really good reaction save there, actually, from Jasper Shake. As uh, Kinnaminster effort came in at the near post, it then deflected off an Aldershot Town player slightly, and I think Shake just pushed it around the post to make sure. And it'll go all the way through, and uh, Dibble finally takes a touch, finds Pierce, who sends it down the left-hand side, and there is the final whistle. Final score, Kenny Mitzdarius, four, Aldershot, two.